Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? So today we're going to be heading into the next stage of Red Zone, the ultimate Red Zone. Alright, we're going to be going up against Fu here on the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Edition. So let's go ahead and take this team right here. We're going to be rocking the full Heroes team again. Um, Let's see, he, he's Strength in the first phase. And then the last phase, he's int, so I guess we can take another Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. We're just gonna have to, like, really hope we can get through this first phase relatively quickly, and then our physical units we got here will hopefully help us in the last phase against some um, int foo once he goes int. So, alright, we got the 200% leader skill, everybody's on crossover and heroes, of course. So I'm thinking this team should be should be good, you know. We got this the the goat here with the guard and the damage reduction. Gohan's got his 50% damage reduction. Goku will have his 30%. And then these guys will have type advantage in the last phase. We just kind of got to worry about the first phase. So we might end up taking a Whis depending on how our rotations are looking, but all right, all right. let's hop in let's and see this. how we can do against the man Fu. No oh boy. Xenoverse guy right here. But I guess he was probably on Super Dragon Ball Heroes first, huh? Alright, let's see. So he is he is strength this first phase. Let's let's float off Vegito for now. And Bardock's sitting at 300 k defense, that's not too bad. Pretty good. Yeah, we'll keep Goku in the middle, I guess, since he has He'll have all of his links active. Um, Bardock, even at 300k, I don't think it's enough. Hmm. Yeah, next turn we got both the Vegetas. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just take a Whis right off the bat. Screw it. We'll be fine now. Not sure how we were going to handle Fu here in turn one. Nope, oh, Bardock dodged it anyways. Putting up a 6 mil, not too shabby. Crit, and he sealed him. Okay, I guess we didn't have to take a lease. <laughs> Looks like Fu can be sealed in this first phase. Whoa, Goku. Chill, brother. 9 mil. Holy man, he's like already dead. No way Vegito's finishing him off, though. Not even with a double super, double crit. Type disadvantage, he ain't doing no damage. Unless he did crit. But alright, now I got the Vegeta's. Um, well, he, well, he is sealed, so we should be fine. Plus, I mean, we got that Whis active, so we're good. Vegeta might take a bit of damage from these normals here, but just because he has type disadvantage. Yeah, so if we didn't have a Whis active right here, we'd be taking quite a bit more. Probably closer to like 100k normals, maybe. Maybe like 80k, I don't know. Yeah, there's a nice crit by him. Gohan might be able to finish him off here. This might be a quick video. Nope. Vegeta will, though. Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegeta Zeno. And Goku, yep, 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 yep. Now we got Super Saiyan 3 Goku on rotation. Did he seal our, yep, he did seal our Limit Breaker Goku, okay. Um, I guess we can go ahead and take that other Whis. Might as well, huh? We'll leave Super Saiyan 3 Goku right here in slot 1, I guess. We probably want to keep um, Bardock next to him, because they do have Shattering the Limit together. Yeah, we got all these... We got this full Super Saiyan 4 team, and then we got this Super Saiyan 3 here. <laughs> but he'll do good for us. He's guarding. He'll have his damage reduction and stuff. For three turns from the start of the turn, he has 15%. But then, per Dragon Ball Heroes category ally on the team, he gets 7% up to 35. 
So yeah, he's he's gonna be a tanky boy, no doubt. Plus this Whis, yeah, he's he's not taking any damage. So Fu, if you want to super attack this man right here, you know, by all means, we'll take some double digits from that. Of course he's not going to. He's probably gonna, oh, no, he went for Bardock, but he dodged it. Yeah, Bardock's got that medium chance to dodge, man, that's, that's not too bad. Oh, the double seal, foo, on both of our physical guys, huh? This guy. Well, um, yeah, I'd like to keep Vegito around, but, well, those two do have fierce battle together. Let's just stick Gohan to slot one, because he's got his damage reduction, 50% plus the 40% from the Whis. Yeah, the Whis is up next turn, though, so. And he sealed our Vegeta and Vegito. What the heck, this man. We can't do anything to him, though. We can't lower his attack, defense, can't stun him, seal him. It is the last phase, so. Alright, now this is where things get sketchy. This will be fine. Yep. Now, well, Goku's sealed anyways, so he's not going to attack either way. And give Bardock that. And Vegeta's sitting at 166k defense. He should be good after he supers once or twice. Probably twice. Maybe three times. Let's see. It doesn't look like he's super attacking Goku. He knows. You know he ain't going to do no damage to that Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Yep, there's the double. Super final shine attack. No triple, though. That's alright, this is a wrap, I think, right here. Dang, he, yeah, he keeps sealing the physical units. He, he must know, he knows too much. The type advantage. Goku should be good. He's got his 30% damage reduction. Gohan's got the 50%. So Goku could definitely take some damage. Especially if we got supered, we could be toast. But Gohan should be fine. He's got higher defense and more damage reduction, so... Yeah, one more strike. You ain't dodging that one, foo. Point one five. Come on, Goku, crit him with that full power times ten Kamehameha. Ooh. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, he dodged that one. Sorry, Vegeta finished him off with a punch. Crit and goodbye. Yeah, the heroes team, man. All these Super Saiyan 4s, they're so fun to run now. We got the 200% leader skills, a couple different 200% leader skills for heroes now. It's pretty awesome to see this category, like, actually be viable. And, like, in red zone, man, that's awesome. Yeah. This is, yeah, we, we beat Golden Cooler pretty easily uh, the last video, and now Fu went down like a chump. Now we just gotta go up against Cumber in the next one. Alright. That was, that was pretty quick and easy as well. This ain't going to be too long of a video. So we'll take a look at the uh, the team here we used. We got Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Goku Zeno. The man himself. I got 26 combo on him. I want him getting them double supers off. Um, after he receives 7 attacks, which, I mean, you could see that. If you're like trying to get him to get hit seven attacks and he does the guaranteed crits he gets an extra attack and defense 40% so that's good 
But yeah, we got all these guys max links now. I guess I, I could do a showcase on this team. Like, I'll take off uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku here and put on Super Saiyan 4 Broly just to fit the whole Super Saiyan 4, 4 theme. And I got, I got all these guys max links, including Super Saiyan 4 Broly. I just threw him on a team and was like, yep. We're going to get all these guys max links. Saiyan Roar, you know, prepared for battle. Super Saiyan. All them good links. A couple of these guys have experienced fighters and Saiyan Warrior Race. And Gohan has Saiyan Lineage, too. I don't think... I don't think any of these other guys have Saiyan Lineage, do they? No, it's just Gohan, huh? Got our man Vegito. I'm so glad I pulled him, man. I've been waiting forever for this guy. <laughs> like, I remember when he first came out, like, I wanted him so bad. But I did end up pulling, like, you know, Gohan before he had his Dokkan Awakening. And then Broly as well. Yeah, I gotta max this guy out. I didn't even give him the rest of his hidden potential modes. I gotta dupe in him, and I still gotta give him additionals and stuff. So yeah, we'll probably go do that. I, I should work on this guy's links as well, too. I actually started linking a little bit of this team as well. I wanna do some extreme units for Dragon Ball Heroes. I was looking at this team, too, but... I don't know, I have, I have this guy 55%. Mechie Bora. Mechiabora? Yeah. And then Golden Metal Cooler. I mean, he, he he needs to Dokons to get that seventh link, so... It'll be a year or two down the road, because, you know, Heroes celebrations, it's every November, every year. That these guys would return, you know. But they'll be unfeatured for, like, one or two years, probably, these guys... And I don't know when you'll be able to get him with coins. It's like, this is who's in the shop right now, and these are all pretty old units. Yep. Alright, guys. Let me know how you're doing up against these uh, red zone stages, these new red zone stages for Super Dragon Ball Heroes, and let me know what you think. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.